That's everything? Cool. That's Thank you very much. Yeah. I'll come back to the 3D printing later. I, I just thought it was a cool start to a video. Remember I dropped this off the roof yesterday? Well, it's broken in one, two, three places. It's already broken over here. Let's just glue it quickly. This super glue is a gel. It's a very different experience, weirdly. Oh, okay, we're gonna have to leave shortly. Two days ago, I set up to go and drop a microwave off at a tip, a dump, whatever you call it. There is a reason for that. But right now, my main concern is the fact that Oh gosh, I've lost whatever piece of plastic was meant to be in here. And so I have no idea how this will fly. But we're gonna fly it around this dump area. Doesn't that like sound very enticing? <laughs> As kids, this is something my dad and I would do together. Not something particularly special, nothing special about it. And then I went off to college and after college, I came and lived at home for about six months. Oh, coming a bit fast. And we did it a few times during that six month period. And since that was something we did together, I thought, what's the experience like here in the States doing the same thing? So we're finding out right now. And I think this is where I pull in. All right, what have we got going on here? We've got no outlet, lovely. So we've got some kind of government building over there, National Guard armory over there. What else have we got? Some nice trucks. Oh, public works, customer service, lovely. What more could you want? Where do I go from here? Got down there, down there, hazard, household hazardous waste and disposal. That's what we want. I didn't see anything about pricing or cost online, but in the UK, it's always been free whenever we've dropped something off at the tip. I think you do have to pay for something to get picked up, which is understandable. Park, operation, stop. Uh, okay, that way or that, I think we go left. Oh, so entrance is down this way. Looks like we're gonna have a nice chat with someone. Hi, how you doing? Doing all right. You have an appointment Good, with us today? I do, yes. All right, you got an ID you can show me? Uh, yep, I think I do, I do have one, yep. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> Just, Right there. Beautiful. Okay. Just, Let me do it. You pull up a bit more okay. More? You just gonna take it straight out the back? So they're just we're gonna. Gonna have you take this one. We're gonna, we're gonna load you right over there. Sounds good. I'll head over. Thank you. Back over to me. I'll... All right. Thank you. So I'm following this dude, and I've got to remain in my vehicle. Drive. I think I have to stay in. Right. That's everything? Cool. That's it. Thank you very much. You're not dropping off the camera. Yeah. Not the camera, <laughs> thankfully. Just going to the stop sign there and back out the way you came. Sounds have a good. good day. Appreciate it. Thank you. You too. How bloody pleasant was that? Excuse me, guys. Hi. Sorry, it's me again. Um, I came to make a video of the experience of dropping something off at what we call the tip uh -huh. in like from comparison how it is in England to uh -huh. here. It's always, it's a cool experience in England uh -huh. and the guys are always super nice. Yep. I just wanted to say, you guys were like just super nice oh, well, doing well. this, just like pleasant, you know? Like, well, thank you. Man. So I appreciate it. You're very no welcome. Well, thank you very much. Right. Have a good day. Thank you guys, you too. You too. Cheers, bye. You, I love that. Well, I was gonna fly the drone, but I don't think there's any need to. And there's not really much here to fly it around. So I bought these strange catapults on Timu a long time ago and my son's been picking out the drawer. I haven't used them yet and I thought, let's go and just see how good they are. So I, I wanna print off some funny targets to do target practice on being followed. But I don't have any print in my ink. I don't have any ink. <laughs> I don't have any ink in my printer. So I need to go and get some. Mission, mission two for the day. Last night, my wife, so Shay, asked me what I wanted to do for Father's Day. And I said, I don't know, maybe we can find a nice, like, gymnastics place for the little man to run around. And I'm driving past here trying to find the FedEx shop, which I'm in the wrong flipping block parking lot. I felt like I was walking really funny just then. 
So I wanted to just have a quick look in here and see what things look like. Obviously I'm not gonna film. Dude, he would, that's wind, isn't it? He would bloody love that. He would bloody love that. And I've been flipping desperate for the toilet for the last like three hours. And I just haven't gone, obviously. To FedEx. So that is the FedEx store right there. And I was gonna have this really, what I thought was a cool shot where I stick this to the front of the box and then it's like attached to the box as I'm walking in, moves with it. It would have looked really cool, but I've forgotten the one piece that connects this sticky part to the flipping camera. So you get this awkward crotch shot instead. <laughs> and I'm just hoping that no one takes you. Hi, how are you doing? How'd you get there? Uh, hopefully just a package to drop off, please. And what's inside? Some electronics. Beautiful, you thank you very much. Have a good day. Got these old people here getting out of the car. I'm never sure. Should I, should I offer to help, or is that kind of like demeaning when it looks like they should be able to do it themselves and like have? I don't know. Oliver, you're at Walmart now. What are you doing at Walmart? I'm returning this stupid rotary tool. It isn't actually a rotary tool. All right, rate this for a transition. Oh, that was crispy. I fully get that there was no reason for that as well. I'm still so desperate for the toilet. It's not even funny. And how did that go, Oliver? Uh, not well. Because I still have the bloody box and I have to sort it out online again. I hate this kind of annoying rubbish. Uh, sorry, bit of context. This is the Dremel tool, uh, rotary tool that I ordered previously. Sorry, it's not the one that I ordered. This is a very different one that I ordered. This is a floor model and it's not, it's not the one I ordered. So the annoyance with that is the fact that they asked me to go in store to return it. Not only did I not get the product that I ordered when I needed it, they wouldn't let me return it, sort it out online, and then they wouldn't let me return it in store. So now I have to go back to online and sort it out. So my neighbor very kindly saw my video and then offered to let me use his version of one of these. He just texted me saying to pop over. So hopefully that whole thing wasn't too windy. I think I'm going to the front door. Hello, hello. How you doing? Sweet. Okay, let's make the mold. Not the mold, you dummy. Let's make the silicone. Silicone. Good, good, dude, I'll be done shortly. Oh no, oh no. This is the wrong flipping stupid mold. I'm gonna print off the right one. Hello, dude. While that prints, I wanna say, I'm sorry that I didn't get to the, I'll show you what it looks like. This, I'll just show you how it works now. What shall I shoot? Got blue tack stuff. That's probably gonna stick, isn't it? Donut. So I'll get the ink for the targets first thing tomorrow morning and we'll definitely have it tomorrow. But let me show you how this works. I just pulled down this as well. Okay, the only, I don't know. Best thing I could find is a magnetic clip for my cables. So I'm gonna drop that in. Oh my gosh. I need to keep you in the same place for the moment. So hopefully zooming in. Dude. That is amazing. No holes in the door, thankfully. All right, well, I'm not sure what I should shoot in that tomorrow, but I'll, I'll have a think about it tonight. Cool. The mold has been sitting for a little bit now. I'm gonna throw this in. Oh my gosh. Make it neat. Perfect. And that should be cured for tomorrow morning. All right, let's look at this hole. Look at that. I shouldn't have moved the flipping camera, should I? I was trying to keep a perfect shot for tomorrow morning, peeling this out. Donut. You know what, I'm gonna give you an explanation why I didn't get to as much today as I wanted to. I sent an email, a pitch to, I don't know if I can name the company at the moment, well, screw it, to Segway. A while ago, I saw they had a new product that was coming out for a new campaign. Pitched them for it, said I could do it in between like five and 10 videos. That was a month ago. Today, they came back saying they want to do 10 videos. They have some concerns on the type of content, blah, blah, blah. And they wanted ideas, my rates, quote, etc., all that kind of stuff. So I spent a fair bit of time working on that. That's why I didn't get to everything I wanted to. Okay. Night, night.
Night-night. Sorry. <laughs>